Hello, hello! Good morning, everyone! Good morning, good morning! Good morning, Miracles! Happy 11-11! Happy, happy Friday! Good morning, Andrew! Welcome! How are you, my love? How are y'all doing? Hello, hello, hello! I am so excited to be here with you this morning. Not good. Oh, Andrew, you will be better after this scope, I hope. Good morning, Sarah. Hi, my love. Welcome. So this morning, we will be doing an angelic tarot card reading to see what is in the cards for us. Joe Fly, welcome. So let's get started. Ooh. Hello. Hi, Mall Harbawi. <laughs> Let's see any additional messages for us today. I am doing well. Thank you for asking, sweetheart. Ooh, there we go. We have three cards that came up. Hello, Taisha. Welcome. You have a question. Go ahead, ask your question. Thank you for the compliments and all of the acknowledgments. So are you a sex expert? Yes. Tell me something. Something. <laughs> uh, okay, ask your question. Go ahead, ask your question. As long as it's respectful, um, all is well. What is your question? Have you ever tripped on your bottom lip? Hmm, no. I don't even think I knew that that could happen. <sighs> so here we go. We have three cards. Right? So let's begin with the first card. The 13. And the 13 says peace. No boobs, <laughs> no sex. Okay, release the past. Release the past. What happened to my hairs? <laughs> my hair, it's the same. <laughs> so it says release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So this card is really calling us to trust in the divine. Trust that we are, I know today, I don't know what's, what's happening today. I got to block some people here. The trolls are out today, Sarah. I don't know. What's happening with them? <laughs> I know they are really annoying, but we will not let them get to us. Block them all. Yes, I know. I will. I will. Are you a psychic? I am not a psychic. I am in touch with my intuition and my angels. Get them. Block those fools. <laughs> Tarot card readers believe in God? I do, yes, indeed. Christian, I identify as spiritual, if you must know. I really don't identify as any one religion. I think that there is truth in all religions, um, but really where I connect the most is through my spirituality. LOL. Muslim, I don't know much about the Muslim faith. Hi from India. So this first card is really, really, really about releasing the past and trusting divine guidance, right? We are all here on a purpose, with a purpose, on a specific mission. And this is a calling for us to really trust that. A friend of mine used to have psychic hotline. That's how I feel. I'm spiritual but not religious. Great. God is Holy Spirit, not cards. Okay, that's your opinion. Um, 
Help us, Bernie Sanders. You're our only hope. No, thank you. Okay. There are a lot of trolls out here. <laughs> Today is troll day. Come on, cards never worked. Okay, Brian, if you do not believe in the cards, you do not need to watch. Hello, Manuel. Welcome. So here we go with the second card. The second card is Five of Gabrielle. My Five of Gabrielle. And it says, a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. And here is a puzzle. Right? There is a puzzle here. And you have all of the pieces. And not only do you have some of the pieces, but also the angels are helping guide you to find and place the rest of the pieces, right? So this card is really talking about if you feel like you are lost without direction on where to go in life, definitely know that the angels are with you, right? So it's almost, they, they are affirming that by letting go of the past, a bigger, brighter future is ahead of you. And they will guide you to figure out what pieces you need in order to make that a reality. But you need to withdraw from others, from people who might not be in your same vibration. Our angels, heavenly beings, um, they are heavenly beings. Have patience and have patience. That's a big, big, big one that's coming through. Um, these are the Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue. I will show you them. That's the, these are the cards I'm using. And really, you know, having patience with yourself. And with others, right? Yes, th there needs a, a there is a need for separation um, from the drama, but to know that do not fall into judgment of others, right? When you're separating yourself from them and the drama, really just honor yourself and be patient and know that everyone is on their own journey, right? And the patience is both ways. You need patience, they need patience, and patience is such, such a valuable, valuable tool in this life. I think that by being spiritual and not in Christ is not of God. That is your opinion. Okay. The last card, good morning, Zoraida. Hello, my love, is the chariot. And the chariot is about determination and self-control. There will be career advancements, right? So if you're working on a book, that will soon be moving forward. If you are looking for a new job, this is also a time where that will manifest for you and any other success that you are looking for will happen. And not only will it happen, but you will get a lot of acknowledgement for it, right? For whatever you do to move yourself along, you're going to be recognized. And it's going to be feeling really, really warm and your heart is going to be opening up a lot more. So allow for that, but also know that you have to have determination 
And what we mean, what they mean by self-control in this um, card specifically right now is um, controlling the negative thoughts, controlling the um, desires to not move forward, right? The fears to not move forward, right? Do not confuse desire with fear. That is the message here. Um, really control that those self-limiting beliefs because they will try to get in your way. They will come up. They always come up. Hello, Maria. Welcome, Maria. Great seeing you again, my love. Right? But do not let that get to you. So again, I am going to do a recap because some of my, my regulars just popped in. Peace is all about releasing the past. Let go and let God and really know that there is a better future for you and you don't need to know what is in the in the works, right? You just have to have that faith and trust that it is happening behind the scenes. That's my mantra. Nice. Then we have the five of Gabriel where it's seeing a challenge that can be resolved withdraw from the drama of others it's very important to let go of drama drama is of low vibration and if you are in drama you are not in love right and to to really attract and manifest things in your life you want to be in a space of gratitude and love at all times and then having patience with your Self and with others, right? Do not judge. Don't fall into judgment because that, again, is of lower vibration. You want to have that patience with others and with yourself. You know, yes, you might get frustrated with someone, but have patience that, you know, everything is working out. And the last card that we got is the chariot, which is all about controlling yourself limiting beliefs, letting them go, and having the determination to really push forward with whatever guidance you are getting from the angels. They will be guiding you. They will be giving you pieces to the puzzle, right? To the puzzle of life, to the puzzle of your life. But you have to be determined to figure out where they belong and, and what's the next step after that. There is going to be career advancement whether that is, um, you know, entrepreneurship or a new job or a promotion, that is definitely happening. And what's really nice is that you will be getting recognized for all of your efforts. Hello from Sweden. Can you do tarot on me? I do do tarot, individual, personal um, power readings, heart power readings. You can find more information and contact me through my website, sexualitypower.com, to get an individualized reading. So I am always, always looking forward to doing those for you all. Um, so do feel free to reach out via my website. Again, sexualitypower.com. So this is our reading for today. Hello, Steph. Welcome. We just did a reading. We have the 13 of Peace, the 5 of Gabriel, and the 7 of the Chariot. So that is our reading for today. I hope that you all found guidance and um, some strength and motivation in this reading. I know I did myself as an entrepreneur knowing that you know, great advancement is coming is always a great um, news to hear. So I wish you all a very, very passionate evening and a passionate weekend. We are back here at 11 a.m. on Monday. And don't forget to join me at 4 o'clock Monday through Sunday um, for our Sexuality Power Talk. Thank you for sharing your beautiful messages. Thank you, Sarah. I love your energy, Sarah. Come back now on Monday. I love, love, love how, how bright and positive you are. I can feel all of your energy coming through and I'm so grateful to have you here. So thank you, thank you all. Have a blessed weekend and until Monday, have a good one.